Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Oh man, I am so excited to hop right back in here. I've fallen in love with this game pretty hard, and we're still in the first game out of this trilogy. Uh, it's been so long since I last had the chance to play, too. I am very excited to see what happens next. Uh, once in a prior video, I did hypothesize that this, the first game in the trilogy would have about maybe six cases. And I figure, now that we've wrapped up a pretty standalone one, maybe or maybe not, it's time to get back into perhaps what would be the game's A plot? Because there's still unanswered mysteries concerning the papers that Mia put in that Thinker statue and the history of Red, White, and Misty Fay. I wonder if the game will talk about that a bit more. Or maybe it's something that's saved for the sequels, who knows? And, uh, yeah, one, one thing I'm looking forward to seeing more of is Miles Edgeworth. He has really started to fascinate me. Uh, last case, he, he did some very surprising things at the critical hour. He, he bucked tradition and helped out Phoenix in proving that the client was not guilty. He, he broke his his mission as a prosecutor, and moreover, he certainly broke his prerogatory mission of, uh... Did I even use the right word there? <laughs> he broke his tendency to hash out victories at any cost, no matter what was right. Miles did do the right thing. He was heroic, and uh, some light was shed that implied that Phoenix and Miles had a history together, in their childhood, or something else, I don't know. I just, I just want to see more of Miles, you know? He's an interesting egg. Righto. Uh, let's start a new game and start up case four. Uh, again, the art for it is a bit spoilery, so I'm gonna close my eyes here and maybe black out the screen. So give me a moment. Uh... Okay, okay. Uh... There. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Ooh, yeah. It, it, it's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've... suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. Whoa. moment here um okay no no miles has an evil twin brother um but um th th he just um excuse me god damn it Um, I, what do I say? Help, help me. <laughs> Miles, what are you doing, you dingus? <laughs> Miles, no. Um, um, Merry fucking Christmas. 
Hey, hey, Nick. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Prefer preferably a freezing one. Oh, training montage. Training montage. Training montage. Oh. Is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course. Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gourd Lake is pretty close. Well, yeah, well that's, uh... Yeah, uh, that's probably where the intro cutscene took place. Gourd Lake. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Can you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea! Yeah! Adapt. Improvise. Overcome. So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news... Oh boy. Here we go. Oh no. Wait, what? A large, unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake? What? The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy and a tip of the hat to Nessie the Loch Ness Monster. Okay. Uh, like, are we talking about the corpse of that guy? That, no, that person of ind yet indeterminate gender that Miles Edgeworth shot? Who's, like, in that cloak? Um. Guys, did Miles Edgeworth kill someone? Help! Though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Yeah, Boring. Can they show real news for a change? Nick? The water pressure is kind of low in that shower. What? What? What, what kind of... What kind of law office is equipped with a shower? Huh. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Wow, Phoenix, that's creative. Oh no. I swear to God, if she says good idea... <laughs> uh, apparently, Fey blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gord Lake again. The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. Oh god. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside say the, uh, the police... Uh, sources inside the police department revealed... The suspect's name is Miles Hedgeworth, age 24. Uh. Okay, so... Miles said Merry Christmas, which this day is. And, uh... And it was dark and misty. So I guess that happened... That murder happened on the boat in the very, very early hours of the day. And, uh, now... But now it's like it said it's 10 a.m. So how exactly was? I guess it's a reasonable amount of time for him to be caught. But only Miles didn't escape the scene of the crime very well. Wait, if a body fell into the lake, there would, there would have to be have been a witness who saw it go down. There had to have been because otherwise. There would have been no suspicion of him, like, rowing to shore and just getting out and moving about his day. There had to have been a witness to see it happen. Uh-oh. That's not good. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? It seems freaking so! Uh, Edgeworth... What? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yipes! M Maya! The fireman yelled at me when I called him. 
Now's not the time for your japes. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I, I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Jesus Christ. What do you think about this, huh? You know, I think it's developing a nice luster. I'll look at your badge later, Nick. We've got work to do. I suppose you're right. Aww. Well, what should we do? What do you mean? Let's investigate. We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth and check out the crime scene. <sighs> what kind of evidence could even be found at a lake? Save aimlessness and confusion for later. <laughs> Not cast out use uselessness and confusion. Save it for later, he says. At least he's a realist. Well, got any good ideas? Not really. I do my best thinking when I'm standing underneath the waterfall. Okay. Uh, let's say hi to the plant. Mia's favorite plant. Its name is Charlie! Wait. Charlie? Oh! Oh, is that... I think that's a Day of the Tentacle reference. From Double Fine? Yeah, there was, a, there was totally a plant named Charlie in Day of the Tentacle. A house plant named Charlie, yeah. Um, this is gonna be a little roundabout, but the reason I know that is that there's also a plant in the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind named Charlie sitting in someone's house. And I looked it up and that's a reference to Day of the Tentacle. And this must be too, yeah, a plant named Charlie. That's, that's, that's cute, that's a cute reference. Uh, an homage to the birth of text adventures, you know. Papaya's gotten the knack of watering it lately. Charlie's been perking up these days. Ah, that's nice. Papaya brought in a poster of the Steel Samurai the other day. Had a big fight over whether to put it up or not. I know she's just waiting for a chance to sneak it up on the wall. Mia's desk. If we have more clients, I'd probably sit here more often. Lately, I've been spending more time on the couch watching TV. They mock me! <laughs> Apparently hasn't had much luck reading these. I tried reading one and it made my head hurt. When I closed it, it slipped out of my hand. And my foot hurt too! Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, I can relate, actually. I had a very, very brief stint of trying to get into, uh, real estate, believe it or not. I attempted to take online courses to get into real estate, the, uh, the selling and bartering of homes, and oh my god, the amount of sheer bullshit you had to remember. Good lord. It looks like it's cleaning day again at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planning a second branch outside the city. I can see the bellboy getting the angle of that screwdriver in the drawer just right. Aww. <laughs> uh, that's a bit... that's a nice bit of continuity. Okay. <sighs> Time to put on the big boy pants. Oh. I have a choice to go to the detention center or the Gord Lake. <sighs> yeah, no, we need to talk to Edgeworth first. Man, what the hell did you do, Edgeworth? Give it to me straight. You know, Nick, we've all been here in one been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Ah! Is he a ghost? Keeps disappearing and reappearing. Hey, Edgeworth, come back! Oh, oh, right, he, uh... <laughs> he took one look at us and left. <laughs> Actually, I really should have considered that happening. Oh, he came back. He, he mastered Mia's technique of calling back fleeing, fleeing people. Right. 
What are you doing here? Heck, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? Uh, were you in a good mood when you were here? Yeah, he's asking Papaya. So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? This isn't a laughing matter. No, we should not, Papaya. Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad, or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. Yeah. Phoenix really hasn't had a job in, uh, two months. Yeah, he skipped over November with no cases. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. Goodness me. Okay. What's the guard... What's the guard up to? He hasn't moved an inch since I came in. A real pro. Or maybe he's just nervous with Edgeworth in the room. Yeah. Anything new on the camera? Nope, thought not. Okay, sir. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What, what do you think about this, buddy? Your attorney's badge? Edgeworth. Let me defend you. Oh, uh, w was this story progress? Whoops. Ha! Ha ha! Good one, right. But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. W what do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. W what? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You, in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Well, I'm glad I've read that, then. Ah, Edgeworth. You are an enigma wrapped in a mystery. Or, no, a mystery wrapped in an enigma. That's right. Yeah, what the hell happened, my good man? Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what! Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. H hey! Sure, you got lucky and won all three, but your luck's bound to round out someday. Yeah, I said as much once. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick? Why am I always the one who has to get angry? Uh. The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. Late last night. Oh, last night, huh? So it would have been Christmas Eve. Guess. You know, I wonder if the, if this was originally Christmas Day in the Japanese release, because I'm I'm not entirely sure that the Japanese really celebrate Christmas too much. Eh, who knows? The lake is a long way from your offices and the courthouse. Where are you down there? I see no need to tell you. But Mr. Edgeworth. You... you didn't really... Gordy. The... the monster? I went to see Gordy. What? Why... Really, a man like him believing in a superstition like that? Something smells here. Something stinks here. Keep missing up phrases, man. Um, Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. I want Edgeworth to talk to us. 
did you do it? Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But, but Nick is trying to help you. I know, I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Uh, that's the story I guess that Phoenix might have to tell her later. Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick, Mr. Edgeworth did it. Th Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. Ooh. But, Nick. Wow. I guess Phoenix... His emotions are getting heated up and he's... He's leaving. On his own. Okay. Let's check out the lake. See what we can find. Suitably spooky. This is where it happened? Yeah. Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. You can see some police walking around in there. Oh, I wonder if Gumshoe's on the case. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that... Yeah, Gumshoe, get over here, buddy. Well, pal? There's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? Uh, so sorry, sir, nothing. Idiot, the trial's tomorrow. What? Really? Tomorrow? Really? Jesus. Ugh. Fast system here in this universe. We need clues on the double. But, but sir, yeah, I guess any clue there might have been is deep in the lake. There weren't any clues. That's why you arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. Wait, what? You had no clues whatsoever and arrested someone. What? It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up! Oh. Just you try saying that again. Yeah, it... Is Gumshoe... Is Gumshoe hoping to find evidence that will defend Edgeworth? That's interesting. I'll... I'll... I'll make you sorry if you do. So just... Just get out of my face, pal. Yeah, he's frazzled. Wow. Y yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe is kind of scary today. Recruits. <laughs> ah! Eek! Hey, you're that hairy guy. Hairy butts. Oh my god. Please. Please, sir. Right. Phoenix Wright. Will they ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating. Huh? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Oh. For once, he's actually going to be up front. I mean, not that it's going to be any easier to get info out of him. <laughs> Bring it! He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Huh. Let's take a quick look around here. I feel winter's chill from the bare leaf trees today. <sighs> what is it about winter that turns people into poets? I don't know, but my toes are starting to feel numb. But are you walking around in, like, sandals? Or, uh, what's the word for the kind of open-toed wooden shoes that monks wear. Yes, my poetry has an effect on some people. What? What? That doesn't even make sense. It, okay, apparently Phoenix's poetry makes cold toes happen. Um. The sign says Gord Lake Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. But no waterfall. Not many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya. Okay. I think that's it. I don't really see anything. Okay. Yeah, I doubt there'd even be security cameras in this place. That's a shame. Uh, Mr. Gumshoe, what do you think about this? That badge! 
You're showing that to the wrong guy, pal. You gotta show that to someone who needs it. Yeah, he... He really, really wants the best for Edgeworth. What do you know, Gumshoe? What happened? Uh, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay. Uh, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Head in the... Huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. Oh, 1250. Okay, yeah, I guess that constitutes last night. So it would be Christmas Day. At 1250, uh, 1215, right? Did I say 50? Whoops. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a, with a pistol. Oh, so the corpse is a man. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth. Man, he looks really surprised, doesn't he? That's, that's not quite the look of... That's not quite the look of... Holy shit, I killed someone. That's the look of... Holy shit, my gun actually killed someone? He's confused. What's going on here? Maybe I'm just reading too much in it. Uh, who knows how different the intended expression is back in the pixel art. Maybe there was like a subtle change in the art shift here. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I, just, I just don't know. A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. So there was a witness who called someone in? Maybe? How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. Yeah. Okay. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness. Huh. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right, who cares what the witness says? I care. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking this investigation that seriously. I mean, yeah, it does seem pretty open and closed. Oh no. After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Ah, uh, so that's why Detective Gumshoe is so adamant about protecting him. It's a uh, repaid debt. Huh, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. It, is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah, he's a bit of a celebrity. You defended him and lost your reputation to be sure to suffer. What's more... The case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. Yeah, no kidding. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal, don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. Yeah! I... I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? I wonder, maybe it's less a case of Edgeworth rejecting the Phoenix because of their personal ties, but maybe it's more about Edgeworth trying to protect Phoenix and Phoenix's reputation. Like maybe deep down Edgeworth knows that his case can't be won, can't ever be declared innocent, and he just doesn't want to drag Phoenix down on his way out. Gosh, I don't know, man. Who knows, maybe this game could end in tragedy with Miles actually being declared guilty. Who knows, I don't know. Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. Oh, do tell. He kept saying right, 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 over and over. Are you sure he wasn't just saying right, as in... The opposite of wrong? 
Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Oh. Um. Yeah, um. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Okay. Who is this witness? I need to talk to him. Or her. Er, sorry pal, that's confidential. Yeah, we aren't up on the case exactly. Anyway, the witness saw everything apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Vale doesn't tell me much. Was there only that one witness? Yep, it was pretty cold on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to trump another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. Eh. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I I'd forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Uh, talk to Santa. Yeah. Detective Gumshoe, sir. Oh, here's something new. What? Find something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh, uh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Well, that opens up the lake to us exclusively. So we'll have an unimpeded look around. Oh. Oh, gotta have to choose one. Um. I assume I can only pick one, maybe? Okay, the autopsy report would really help. I could determine maybe the bullet caliber and match that up with the supposed murder weapon. I don't know. Uh... But then again, how to get in touch with you, I could just ask for the autopsy report later. And besides, I'm sure the autopsy report would be pr produced at the trial. I'm gonna ask this first. You're not coming back, Detective? Er, um, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Yeah, there we go. Hey, apparently we'll be going back and forth there quite a bit. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? what? Um, we'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we, can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. Yeah, he's gone. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Ah. Right. Now, let's get investigating. Hell yeah. Okay. True enough, I can go back to, uh, Criminal Affairs Department. Uh, Gord Lake Public Beach. I sincerely doubt anyone was manning those food stalls at the time. Are those party hats on the bench there? Intriguing. Someone was throwing a party, maybe? Uh, wait. Samurai dogs? Wow. Wowzers! This is Gord Lake? Yup. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Yeah, it's a pretty boring lake looking. A uh, pretty boring looking lake. Um, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand! Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? Yes! Phoenix, you are a man of exquisite taste after all. They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. Cool. Okay. Uh, what in the sweet hell are these... Oh, those aren't party hats. Those are party poppers. <gasps> God damn it. Party poppers. <laughs> Boy, that sure would sound like a gunshot, wouldn't it? Okay, look, I know that the that the, the little intro scene showed a gun in Miles' hand, but maybe Miles was... Using a party popper to celebrate Christmas for some reason. 
and a sniper from the shore shot the person he was with. Don't you think? At the time of the party pop? I don't know. Oh god. What the hell's going on? Someone left out some poppers here. You know, you pull the string and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, they might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Poppers. Hmm. Yeah, we'll ta we're taking them. Suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Wait, what? Into my pocket. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Pull the string that goes bang. Not very clue-worthy. Oh, so you think. Oh my god. Come on, man. What the hell's going on here? A lineup of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. Yeah. I guess no one's here, huh? Hot dog stand. It's closed. Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads, Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Okay. That, that trash bin is empty. Yeah. Mayhap evidence was planted in the uh, trash bag and then it was emptied out? Who knows? Huh, I almost didn't see that signpost. Left. Boat docks, right exit. Ah, oh, the boat dock. Yeah, we need to like, investigate that. Huh. Oh, wait. Did I see something in this tree? Wow. Gord Lake is really big. Oh, that's a lake investigation. Okay. Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Because it's shaped like a pumpkin? Well, a long time ago, they used to throw gourds here. Oh. Okay. Whoa, no way! I was sure it was because it like, looked like a gourd when viewed from above. Yeah, that was, that's exactly what I thought. You know, like an hourglass shape? Oh, that kind of gourd, sure. Well, it is shaped like a gourd. <sighs> that's just a coincidence. Maybe the reason people threw gourds into it is because it looked like a gourd. Oh, okay. Uh, weird. I think we've done all we can here, so let's move. Boat rentals. Oh, there's the woods, too. Uh, I feel like the sh rental shop would be more conclusive. Let's try that. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business, either. Boats. I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. Ah, uh, cute. Um... If it's closed, we couldn't get in, and... I was hoping to take a look at the registry and see who purchased the boat at the time, but... Oh, maybe from the outside I can see it's ours and determine whether or not it was actually plausible for someone to actually be out on the lake at the time of the murder. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. But probably closed because it's Christmas. Oh, well, that doesn't tell us anything. Yeah, no, there's nothing to investigate otherwise. There are some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Ah. Uh, yeah, Papaya has a thing about murder scenes. Someone did die out on the lake, huh? There's more forest off that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues in there. Never say never, Nick. Never say never. Uh Nothing. I guess it's true. There are no clues. Okay, let's try the forest. Oh, sweet Jesus. 
That is a camera and a microphone pointed at the lake. Oh! Okay. Boy, these this is... A, between the poppers and now this, this is a really heavy-handed way to solve the case. Oh my god. <laughs> I like it here, Nick. Okay, so we have a truck. Big fancy... No, that's not a truck, that's a van. Big fancy car, a no camping sign with a warning about fire. And some very smudged Japanese text. That didn't get changed. Um, someone set down a tarp with some stones to pin it down. There's a can of food, some trash bags, a book. Someone was camped out here recording the lake for who knows why. Weird. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Oh, maybe this was set up after the time of murder. Probably not, though. They might know something about the murder. Yeah, the witness, I assume. That's true. Good call, Papaya. Let's go talk to them. Oh. Are they... here? Eh... Uh, okay, let's examine everything first. We've got a stove. Hey, Nick. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no, I was just wondering. Why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? Oh. Uh, they transfer heat really easily, right? I didn't talk about that in any of the law books. <laughs> There's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum, then. I'm not having this conversation. Uh, oh wow, look at that bento box with some chopsticks on it. <laughs> oh, wonderful, uh, Japanifornia. Someone camped here, maybe? I don't know. Uh, the sign says no camping. Funny place to pick up... Uh, funny place to pick to pinch your tent. Uh, pitch your tent. Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. Uh, what about the woods? Is someone inside the car right now? This SUV has seen better days. Oh. It looks pristine to me, all shiny. It's dented all over, is it? That didn't really translate to these HD graphics, I don't think. Okay. Uh, let's do a slide right over. No one here, huh? Uh, maybe the witness is down at the precinct. This camera has a microphone and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Oh! Oh, that's right! Someone would have set up the camera to trigger at the sound of noise to capture Gordy, the supposed monster lurking in the lake. <laughs> Maybe Gordy is just a floating mass of rotting pumpkins and gourds and whatnot. Uh, oh! Hence the name Gordy. That would be perfect. Don't say I didn't call it. Mark my words. Mark my words. Words. Gordy will just be a bunch of a bunch of gourds. Okay. Um, so anyway, if it takes sounds and triggered by noise, it would have captured the precise moment of the gunshot. Yeah. Let's try it out. Ahem. Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick! Huh. Nick! <laughs> Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken? D don't kick it! Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? Party poppers? Oh. Whoa! Whoa, hey now. It just took like 50 photographs. Hello! Well, it responded. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Here comes whoever who set it up, uh, responding to the call. Hey, you, get your hands off of that! Eek. 
What in the Sam Hill? I'm sorry, it's Sam Hell. Look, I get done now. There goes a whole roll of film. Uh, what? Huh? S sorry. Sorry's nice, but don't pay my bills. You know how much that roll of film costs? Ah. Roll of film. That takes me back. Uh, I'll pay you back? What were y'all thinking sitting up a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well, what? You tried to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Oh god, does she have a country accent? Accent? I won't, I refuse. I refuse to do a bad country accent. Or any accent for that matter. Yeah, I know how y'all Yanks think. I say, those southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why, they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. Oh. Wow. N Nick, help? And who are you now? A chaperone? Yeah, uh, no, rather, uh, we're sort of friends? Just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for bejesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen to you stutter all day. I love the word drawl. Drawl is a nice word. Oh boy. She's like Old Bag, but if she was country. <laughs> Watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. I suppose you might be the witness? Maybe? Well, miss, what do you think of this? I, er, uh, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. Wh what? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. So I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestled meaner looking things than you. N no, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Uh-oh. She doesn't know about it? Uh-oh. Sounds cool. Oh, no. Okay, if she has no idea about it, if she's just now learning about it, she is not the witness. Intriguing. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. Uh-oh, did I miss text? <laughs> so, sorry. I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I I can talk yank for you if you, um, if it pleases you. But thanks. I think I'll be okay. Oh. You know what? I guess this is... Back in the Japanese original, this is probably a matter of regional dialect or something. Huh. I'm Lada. Lada Heart. But y'all can call me Lada. Oh no, I'm desensitized to the names. I'm here pho photographing meteor showers for a research project. The camera's pointed kind of low for that. Mighty pleased to meet ya. Okay. Well, I think I missed dialogue by not talking to her first. Uh, it could have been anything critical, though. Okay. Uh, yeah, what exactly happened? Did you notice anything? When was that murder, anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. And so, Christmas Eve, a man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. I'm not sure, though. Oh, God, I remember. I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. Ah! She definitely would have been there then. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kind of hard to remember which, uh, which I've seen when. Choke a mule? Really? Is that a thing? Please tell me that isn't a phrase. So it's reasonable to expect that she would have been awake at the time of the murder because 12.15, that's like prime meteor shower time, you know. 
And then again, she did have a camera set up to automatically capture it. Wait a second. No, wait, hold up. Her story doesn't add up. Her camera is uh, triggered to record the sound of sharp, loud sounds. But meteors don't make sounds. They're shooting stars are silent. You can't even hear them from Earth. Is she lying already? What the hell, Lada? So, what is it you do, Lada? Huh? Me? Haha. <laughs> Y'all really don't want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U. Right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at the university. Country U. Uh, so I hear. So, when did you come up here? Um, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Didn't I tell you that already? Meteors. Yep, meteor showers. Liar. Maybe she's just uh, ashamed to be searching for Gordy and uh, wants to say something more credible. Yeah, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix just mused about falling stars. He's suspicious already. That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made. A genuine Solingen. A uh, Solingen? Solingen. Solingen. Uh, it's a camera. Isn't that where they make knives? Oh, is it? Um. So, what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? Your camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That microphone triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. Oh. A programmable camera. Neat. Huh. If it faces the lake and not the sky, man, Lada, you're a bad liar. I see right through you. So we got our first piece of evidence. Oh, I guess the party poppers got used up. That's a shame. Lada? Yeah? So, your camera, it, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Uh, yep. Actually, the victim in the case we were researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, you wouldn't a, now wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Yeah. Hey! Y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once. Don't remember if there was anything on them, though. What if I got something? Could be witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! Oh, God. I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? Ah. I guess she... Yeah, she went inside her SUV. Okay. That's a sign. That's a sign to move. Uh... Anything new at the boat rental? No. Okay, I guess we should go check out the, uh... Gumshoes Precinct. Maybe. Yeah. Is that Mr. Payne? I think that's Mr. Winston Payne. Cool. Um, yeah, I think I can press on a little more. Uh, hopefully I can end this episode off at the start of the court case. Who knows? I think that's Winston Payne back there. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal. Oh, did he, did he leave on our behalf? Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, let's examine. Hello, Mr. Payne? Must be the chief of the detectives here. Uh-oh. No, that's probably just some generic, balding Japanese businessman. Uh, what? Gord Lake? Gordy sighted, I don't believe it. Oh. He's goofing off! Hey, come on, dude! 
Shouldn't you be reading something more important? Yeah. What is that stuffed animal? Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's the blue badger. It was my idea, I made it. It's my mascot. Okay, Chief, calm down. I see how nice. I'll get him a signed mascot of the Criminal Affairs Department if it's the last thing I do. Um, good luck. A blue badger, huh? I wonder if that's supposed to be a shitty rendition of Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, a blue badger, that's not too far away from blue hedgehog. He got those big spines on the back of his head. Eh. Wait, no, that's the latest babes in uniform calendar. My bad. <laughs> I like this. I like this chief. I like him. Why can't he be a character? Make him a character. He's cool. These are the detective's desks. Uh... Okie doke. Anything else to see? How about this guy? Another detective. Alright, hands against the wall, all of you. Oh! <laughs> He's practicing his epic lines for his takedowns of crime. <laughs> Isn't that what Gumshoe said uh, in, the, in the last case? And he was super excited to have said it. Don't even think about escaping. I got eyes in the back of my head. Image training for arrest. Yeah. Eh? Okay. So, Mr. Gumshoe, let's chat about the victim. No, no, still can't ID him. Oh! The victim has yet to be ID'd. Yeah, a mystery at the, at the head of all this is who did Edgeworth shoot or attempt to shoot? Not a word. Okay. So how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. It's uh, true. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human, like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. This is the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Uh, yes, sir. And, do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Yo, why do you trust him so much? How come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? <laughs> Words out of my mouth, Papaya. Well, I think that was obvious. We've got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. Working relationship. See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times. He made up info. Once. Wait. Oh, what, what was it that he did? In case two. No, he didn't make up info. He uh, withheld info. That's right. That's right. He withheld info. Or, wait, I forget, but it doesn't matter. Um, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get to the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he placed in, places in us. You see, yeah, I guess it's similar to how Mia, uh, Mia's mantra was trusting in the defendant. I suppose that Edgeworth trusts in, well, someone else just as much. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. 
Yeah, the autopsy report. Tell me in on this, buddy. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, sometime near midnight, one bullet shot to the heart. Damn. A calculated kill. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Oh. Oh. If Papaya could do her medium business to talk to the victim, that would be... That would be huge. Oh. What a curious looking fellow. Um, I... I... Can't quite figure out what this man's deal is. Wait, oh no. Um, uh, I suddenly got an idea. This portrait here reminded me of Misty Fay. Because Misty Fay was wearing black clothes in that photo we saw on Mr. Grossberg's desk once upon a time. Is this Papaya's father? That face... Is one you know? I... I don't know. Oh. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Okay, that's good enough for me. That seems to be Papaya's father. What the fuck? Well, well, wow. Um, yeah, let's present some stuff. What do you think about the camera? Oh. Well, I hope it helps you, pal. Thanks, detective. Okay, anything new here? Yeah. Yeah, claims to be a research student, huh? Huh, maybe even her claim that she's uni from a university is bogus. Like, it could just be the graphics, the restriction of sprite graphics on the little Game Boy Advance, but her van didn't exactly, uh, didn't exactly have any campus stickers on it. Then again, she is wearing the clothes of a kind of, kind of a trendy college goer. Who knows? Who knows? What the hell do I even do now? I think it, I should go back and talk to Edgeworth. I think, yeah. No, nothing here. Well, perhaps Alada is back with the photos. Maybe she got them developed. Yeah, here we go. Hey, y'all. Lada! Wait up a sec. We got bingo. Bingo. My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Oh, please do give them to me. This is them. Take a look. Boy, that tells us nothing. See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. Oi. Like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. There was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. Uh, what? 
I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Uh, are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. Oh. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Wait, what? Wh what was the second photo? What? What was the second photo, Lada? W wait, Lada. What? Can y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw, too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice. That means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell you. That is incredible. L Lada! Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I wonder who the prosecutor will be. Like, surely... Prosecutor Edgeworth wouldn't defend himself, or wouldn't prosecute himself. Especially because he's been, he's been so tight-lipped about everything. Um, yeah, are we in for a new prosecutor? That'll be, that'll be fun. Um, okay, where in the sweet hell do I go now? Here, apparently. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey, oh, is someone new? <gasps> Santa! Yay! Hi, Santa! N Nick, I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Wait, what? Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. Larry? Larry! <laughs> my man! What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. What? what? Oh! Larry! I'm so glad to see this guy again. <laughs> Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl... My girl, Kionse, deserves the best. Kionse? Kionse? Not another model, I hope. Is that supposed to be Beyonce? What? Was Beyonce a star back in 2001? Eh. Oh, Kionse's a fine, fine woman. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. Oh, I love her already. That... That's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my... What? No, no, she's not. I'm his partner, the Payafe. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick, must be tough. Working 9 to 5, having to take care of a little sister? No, no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh, sounds great. Don't worry, my, uh, he's not listening. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't figure he got it. Huh. Well, Mr. Butts, what brings you to here? Hey, Larry, there was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. 
Ghost was with Kianse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. Uh-oh. No, it's just... Kianse's not in town right now. She... she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. Man, Larry can't catch a break. What do you want to bet that Kianse has some quote-unquote sugar daddies as well? A model, I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh, neat. The defendant is Edgeworth, Miles Edgeworth. Oh, oh, I am super curious to see if that name rings any bells for Larry, because I hypothesize that Phoenix, Larry, and Miles were all childhood friends. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Well, you're about to see, Papaya, hopefully. Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth! Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Ah, bingo, I knew it. Well, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. Ah, ha, 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 Grade school friends. Damn, this case really is personal. What? Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Well, why, why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs, see? You know, like, guard dogs? Oh. Oh, that is clever. Ouch. Oh, she's hurt by the pun. The samurai thing was Kianse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. Huh. Made me that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake, but with the big news. The big news? Yeah, Gordy. Ah, that, that'd be good for tourism. So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Oh, my heart. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Oh. Oh. Did Miles have daddy issues? Like his father. Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Oh. Oh my god, you guys. I think it's all coming together. The juicy drama. I feel like Miles wanted to be a defense attorney like his father, but perhaps due to Phoenix becoming a defense attorney, Miles instead became a prosecutor. Or... Okay, I'm gonna make an assumption, a leap in logic, but maybe Edgeworth's father was the lawyer who defended the case that Misty Fay assisted in. And because Misty Fay fell from grace due to the bogus uh, info that came out thanks to Red White, 
maybe the defense lawyer also got discredited and shamed. And then Miles distanced himself from his father by refusing to follow in his footsteps and applied his law knowledge to becoming the prosecutor instead. Yeah, if, if I were in charge of the story, that's how I'd write it. Everyone would be connected and have such a juicy drama. Ooh. Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer. Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? What? No, no, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh, go figure. He was always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Well, there you go. Edgeworth coming around in case three wasn't a break in character, it was... A return to form. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know, Nick? Nick? Wow. Phoenix is being cagey. Uh, what is Gordy? What's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster. Gordy. Uh, monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's the photo. Wow, it, it's really real. Uh. Um. Yeah, um. What the hell is that supposed to be? Huh. Maybe it's the stem of a giant freaking gourd that's like rolling over? I don't know. Um, yeah, it's probably just a log or something, right? There's a quote here from the person who took this photo. What's this? I set the f camera to automatic and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang like an explosion. Oh! Neither of the people in that photo are Lada, but they were using her camera? Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Maybe... Maybe, and this is a long shot, maybe... Maybe someone isn't emerging from the lake, but is falling into the lake instead. That seems so ridiculous, though. I don't know. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Yeah. Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Okay. Jeez. Oh, uh, well, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Oh, that's your attorney's badge, isn't it? Dude, you really helped me out back in that trial. Sorry, I can't really pay you. Because you blow it all on Beyonce. But you can have all the dogs you want. Oh, man, I'm hungry. I could go for a dog. <laughs> if you let her at your dogs, you won't have any left for the other customers. Was that? It's a camera. You take pictures with it. Huh? 
Uh, Larry, you mean you don't know what a camera is? Uh, of course I know. Hey, you're looking at a bona fide junior high graduate. Something about a weird contraption on the camera. Well, it's hard to explain. Just forget about it. Well, don't go... Don't go showing me it. Jeez. Ah. Hey, Larry, you know this guy? Who's this? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Who's this, Papaya? Well... Oh, wait. I had said she had seen me before, didn't she? Eh. Nothing new, I think. We're, we've exhausted him of information. So... Ah, uh, I feel like we're just about to get into court. I want to finish the episode there. I know we're running long. Really long, but... Uh. Nah, what the hell. I'll end it here. Alright. Uh. What a case! Oh my god. Uh, let's move somewhere where the music isn't so obnoxious, maybe. I like some music, though. Oh. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just, something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey! Uh, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at that office Mia worked at. Oh, would Grossberg know him? So I doubt this is actually P Papaya and Mia's father then. Maybe it's Edgeworth's father. You know. Oh. No, they don't really have the same eyebrows, I was about to say. They do have the same face structure, though. Ah, maybe it is Mr. Edgeworth. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait, you mean Grossberg's office? Yeah, that one. Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe this case is about... Mr. White and Mia and Misty Fay, after all. Yeah. If someone knew the victim, that's important. Ah, uh, okay, now here's where we can end. This case, holy shit. Miles Edgeworth shot a man in the heart. And it might just be his own father, too. After all, at the very start, Miles did talk about a grudge he had held. About many years of suffering. <sighs> okay, wow. Well, with the case and Lada Hearts, rather shoddy story, I feel like we have ammunition, but I don't know. There's still that unknown witness who... who the police took in. Who apparently saw it went down. Who isn't Lada, by the way. Um... Goodness me. This is truly invigorating. I can't wait to see what happens next. Oh my god. Well... I guess there's nothing else to say then, but this has been great. I've been Suffer the Jester. I thank you for watching, and hopefully I will catch you next time. So until then, take care.